Hey guys, we're kicking off uh, Loving the Bike Review Week with a big one here. Everybody, hopefully everybody, wears helmets. So we got two good ones here and wanted to review them both. Um, I'm going to just do one video with the Met helmet and one video with the laser helmet. So this one is first is the Met. Now, maybe some of you guys in North America have never heard of this company and it's unfortunate that they don't sell into North America. I really don't know why because I'm telling you they make a fantastic helmet and uh, all those Europeans are lucky to have them available to them. Now you probably can buy these on eBay and other places in the States and Canada but you can't really walk into your local bike shop and buy one so um, yeah if you can get one I recommend it. Now let me tell you I don't, I don't ever really like to say anything really bad about a helmet or any product really just more about what I would see changed in it but when it comes to uh, this one I don't see too many things I'd want to change. Um, I actually wore it for quite a few weeks now before doing the review. I wanted to make sure I kind of got a good feel for it. A lot of times with a helmet, it takes a bit of tweaking um, and all that, but this one really didn't take too long. I actually started feeling good right away. Now, um, some of the features I think are cool. Uh, one of the ones I like the best is, I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but I'll put some of these in um, more information and pictures and stuff after, but it's got like a sweat band in the front here. So no sweat's gonna come down in your face. Plus the coolest thing is it's rubber. So you know how those sweat bands in the front of your helmet get all gross and you try to clean it, but either they you clean it and then they don't Velcro back in again after. Something always happens. This one is plastic and it prevents the sweat and it's super cool so it's easy to keep clean. Um, the one thing actually that did bother me when I first got it, but it just needed some tweaking, was this back thing. I'm bald. I shave my head. So a lot of you with hair probably would never have this problem. But um, if you're bald or shave your head, uh, this was kind of digging into the back of my head a little bit. But actually you can adjust it up and down and you can of course adjust it tightness. And it just took a couple adjustments and now I don't, I don't feel it at all. So that's pretty cool. And again, all rubber back here. No... Uh, no padding. The only padding is really on the very, very top and it's actually a, a gel pad. So you can take that one out and wash it if you ever need to, but um, pretty cool otherwise. And then one of the other cool things is it looks like a real massive band, which when it's on, it just feels really good. Well, I'll try it on. Um, so it just locks down. This is a Kevlar band, which means it's never going to break on you. Very cool and tight. Now, one of the things that is important for me for a helmet, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack on this one. Um, I wear, I wear music when I ride my bike and uh, I do it in a way that it's safe and when I'm on the road so it's no big deal. I still can hear what's going on around me, no problem. And now you guys can argue if you want, but that's just my opinion. So I gotta make sure I actually do that first. So what I do when I have a helmet, everything's gotta fit perfectly. So I got this really cool actually thing from Sony. I never did do a review on it because they never asked me to, but uh, they sent this to me. So thanks to Sony for sending me these super cool headphones. Uh, they just lock in like that. And then uh, the helmet goes on over nicely. And then the biggest thing is sunglasses. I always like when sunglasses just slide in and fit perfectly. Sometimes with helmets, they don't fit very perfect, but when these ones, they do. So rock on, everything's cool. And I'll do the laser, uh, oh, one more thing. I didn't even get to the name. I'm so excited about MET <laughs> that I never told you what the name is. And this is an ethos, um, is what it is. Now does it have a say on there anywhere? I'll put more about the, what, what style it is. It's not their top of the line. Actually, the Shine Thesis, I believe, is the top of their line. But our man Stevie Dexter did a review of that um, a while back, so um, I'll put a link to that one. Um, but for price-wise, if you ever were gonna buy it, of course, because it's in, the U in, in uh, Europe, Europe, it's about 100 euros, which is about 135 US, um, just so you wanna know the price. Not a bad price for a helmet. Now, okay, that's cool. So I'm gonna put more in on uh, details on this helmet, and I'm gonna move on to the, the laser one for the next review.